my fellas it's your boy not so chatty here and welcome back to another video and before i start the video i just want to say i'm really sorry for the late upload i'm still the same old lazy bone and procrastinating youtuber as i was as always but it doesn't matter now that i'm uploading another video and i shall be compensating that with another video next week and that's for sure so today on a brand new episode of expressing my views i shall be dedicating this video to halo infinite which is coming out in holiday 2020 which i guess it's in november or december but it's gonna be towards the end of 2020 so this video is what i expect from halo infinite that is what i want to see from halo infinite so before i start the video I just want to say that there are a few things you won't agree with me and that is understandable because we live in a diverse world which is full of different opinions and people with different viewpoints and I appreciate that there's nothing wrong with one viewpoint to another. So without any more delay, let's hop on to the main point and let's get started real quick. First, let's talk about the gameplay. Now, Halo 5's gameplay felt more like other modern day shooter games of its time, like Call of Duty and Titanfall. It was like so exhaustingly fast, you have to be like pressing multiple buttons at the same time for maneuvering and jumping and rushing just to kill enemies and complete objectives in multiplayer, which made my hand joints tired and it started to pain a lot actually so it didn't even feel like 100% halo like halo wasn't always so fast after 343 industries took control of it so halo infinite shouldn't be this fast i mean it, it's not bad that you should be fast but exhaustively fast it's it's not okay and too much visual effects it was present in halo 5 like if i exploded a grenade or rocket the explosion would make my screen go almost white and it put a lot of sin in my eyes and it was really distracting not good obviously it wasn't good you wouldn't want uh, green explosions to block your views and the enemy to take advantage of that and knock you down so in my opinion 343 industry should uh, borrow a few ideas from Halo 3 visual effects like in my opinion they were the best and if they use it they use that style Halo Infinite will return the lost glory Halo once had ok now the point Halo Infinite has the word infinite in title which means that it will be an open world game uh, which means there will be a lot of places to visit in campaigns like various planets, ring worlds, or should I say ring ins installations, and maybe, maybe even the Ark, we, we might be able to meet the Banished and the Flood once again. I'm talking about enemies, the enemies in Halo 5 were not that challenging, they didn't feel uh, the way they were in Reach, like uh, the Covenant and Halo Reach use strategies, different strategies to deal with players like if they cover behind buildings, behind rocks and they surrounded the player by flanking them from left and right and they made surprise attacks but in Halo 5 they were like total spoilers they just stood in one place and displayed plasma and they need to be a bit more tougher especially the forerunners i'm i was very disappointed when i played halo 5 campaign and i had to deal with you know easy to kill forerunner droids or what should i say call them whatever let's just call them droids they were not that tough especially the knights i was expecting them 
uh, to offer a more challenge to the player like me but it didn't turn out that way so uh, since we are gonna be uh, meeting the foreigners created now in Halo Infinite I expect them uh, to be more aggressive and offer more challenges like they teleport randomly to random places and flank me just like they did in Halo Reach Dual building as an ability should also return as it will make uh, the classic while Halo once had returned and it will make the game even more fun. That's my opinion. Anyways, for multiplayer, I'll just make this short because I'm gonna be expanding this in the multiplayer section. I just want customizable HUD. I want my heads up display to be custom for me. Like, I want to select their layout the way I want them. And Finally, I just want the deleted enemies to return. For example, the Yanmi or the drones, the skirmishers from Halo Reach, and the engineers from ODST. Like, they'll add more diversity because we'll be meeting the brutes. Oh, yeah, the brutes do need to return. I'm sorry, just missed the point. Now, moving on, let us talk about Halo Infinite's campaign. Now, Halo Infinite's campaign shouldn't be too much serious like Halo 5 was really serious and it wasn't that fun to play you know just shooting enemies and kicking your ass isn't enjoyable okay you need to have a bit light-hearted campaign so just like they had in classic halo uh they had funny dialogue funny marine odsc grand dialogue i hope that they return in Halo Infinite along with funny elite dialogue Jackal dialogue, hunted dialogues, and group dialogues, and, and foreign dialogues also. Like, come on, who doesn't want foreigners to crack jokes while they're fighting you? It seems like a fun idea for me. To rope in fans, the story must be clear and understandable, and it should, in my opinion, also have the same air of mystery, just like it had in Combat Evolved. I love the feeling of having to expect something. And get something else. The story must introduce every aspect slowly and in a cohesive and understandable manner. Fans need to understand and digest every aspect so that they get roped in. For example, let me give you an example of a combat evolved mission keys. Now we were expecting that we would be able to save Captain Keys from the flood, but it turned out uh, he had turned into a flood proto grave mine, which was unexpected and it was really sad. So if something like that happens in the story, that would keep me roped in. I would love to fight alongside Marines in Halo Infinite because Halo 5 story made Spartans look more like superheroes rather than super soldiers and honestly I would I missed the classic vibe when I played Halo 5 you know they had Spartan teams in Halo Reach and we played alongside them in the campaign that was a bit okay but now more and more attention was given to the Spartans than the marines and this has made me a bit sad so i will just like i said before i would love to play alongside marines in halo infinite and maybe maybe sometimes on optional missions but i would play with another spartan okay optional missions are to be added as they would provide more depth into the story you know having to play optional missions in my opinion would also be enjoyable as they would allow us to look at the Halo universe from a different angle and not just only from the story based campaign angle. Now the Flood made a return in Halo Wars 2 in the DLC Awakening a Nightmare and I'm ever since dying to meet them especially the Flood Juggernaut now spiritually reborn as the Flood of Abomination I mean look at it in its all new glory I'm really dying to meet it and honestly fight it and let's see who win the battle so that's all i hope
next we are going to talk about the multiplayer and this is where i would like to repeat the first gameplay point which i mentioned that halo 5 multiplayer favored those who were well versed with the fast paced shooter games of its time like call of duty titanfall ba and battlefield i wouldn't mind being faster but not exhaustingly fast like i miss the old days where variety at skill came from how you overcame your limited movement halo 5 unfortunately did the opposite it cultivated maneuvering fast paced maneuvering which makes my hands sweaty and this in turn has cultivated a speed based competition so now in the multiplayer there are only two things during a match either you are super aggressive or get killed like a maze new player so as i have seen it has favored the super fast players only and i got my ass kicked a bunch of times the multiplayer maps should be a lot more bigger like just like they had in the classic halo halo 5's multiplayer maps were like claustrophobic you know they didn't have much space and they were like tightly closed packed buildings which made me feel claustrophobic okay i'm not used to such maps so i want bigger and better maps in halo infinite and this should uh, allow for cover even in open fields now this is the part i've been waiting for and i said this in the gameplay part i want custom huds you know customizable heads up display because i think it would be cool you know maybe too much for different helmets but it would enhance multiplayer experience as i would be able to not only customize my heads up display color and, but also would be able to utilize different designs and layouts to make my heads up display experience unique i would like to add different colors to my head radar weapon and grenade display you know and different design and a different layout you know what i mean now there's one thing i would like to be excluded from being added to hero infinite and that is microtransaction now microtransaction in my opinion feels more like gambling and it puts me and other in the player base in a very unhealthy and emotionally bad place i think there's no need for it in halo infinite and even if 343 does add it 343 should handle it delicately because most players are anxious about it now there's one thing og halo fans would love to be added back even me and that is the playable elite playable elite should return as it in my opinion it's cool and enjoyable not that other t aspects I have talked about in this video are enjoyable, but it should be returned to Halo Infinite as it as a variety to the multiplayer experience. You know, someday I might not feel like playing as a Spartan, so I would play as a badass elite. 343 can expand this, like added adding playable Garants, Jackals, Hunters, and Bruce, and even Promethean soldiers. You know, it'll be more fun. And last time I said microtransactions are bad and they are like gambling so an alternative to this could be i would earn cosmetics just like they had in apex legends you know cosmetic shards so i can uh, craft my own preloaded skin packs from the game and lastly i would like to earn armor rather than buy them you know it's not worth it it doesn't give me satisfaction that I have to buy armor whenever I win a match or whenever I level up, you know. Now here's something I want to tell you which I want to be added in Halo Infinite. Like seriously, I'm dying this game mode to be added and that is Battle Royale. Now Battle Royale as all of you know is it has taken the world by storm and it completely transformed the face of gaming. I feel it's important for 343 to fully understand their direction in which the FPS genre is going and then apply it in a way which fully and truly fits Halo. Now Halo is known for its immersive campaign and addicting multiplayer and frankly it will always will be. 
340 does not need to reinvent the wheel with an entirely new battle royale experience that changes everything. Battle royales offer unmatched replayability for the FPS genre. Every single drop, gunfire, and victory will be entirely different and give the player an endorphin rush, or let me say adrenaline, adrenaline rush, that a simple team slayer win will never replicate. The success of PUBG, Fortnite, Apex Legends, and now Call of Duty Warzone has shown that appreciation for the battle royale genre is not just growing, but is growing exponentially. Now here's uh, my idea of how a beer match would go on in Halo Infinite. Now there would be squad matches, trio matches, duo or solo, and total number of players in the match would be 100. And when you drop into the map, uh, it would feel similar to the way Halo 3 ODST campaign started. would have different abilities which will be selected prior to the match such like camo, hard light shield, visor mode and quick shield recharge. Players will have to scavenge for weapons, UNSC, covenant and creative weapons will be scattered across maps with respective ammo guides. While the ammo loot for UNSC weapons will be different for different weapons like pistol, assault rifle, DMR, shotgun, sniper rifle and covenant weapons like Covenant Carbine, Plasma Caster and Needler. Uh, there is some innovation which I suggest for energy based weapons. Uh, they could be a small um, battery charger which I would like to call the Plasma Battery Charger and these would be along with the Covenant weapons scattered across in the map and they would recharge the Plasma battery of the weapon only 20% more so for example if you have a plasma rifle and you have used it you will take up to 61% and you use the plasma energy charger it would recharge up to 81% and you will have no worries till the end as for the forerunner weapons or should I call them the created as we are gonna meet them with this new name in Halo Infinite is going to be hard like ammo and will be seen for all of the weapons you know now there would be ordinance beacons just like they had in Halo Reach and they would be accessible to the players only after the second save zone collapsed uh, and you would obtain exotic weapons just like the wreck weapons in Halo 5 but they won't take regular ammo and they would have a limited ammo count so you'll have to utilize them in the best way possible and if a teammate gets knocked down I would like to revive them in the way we were revived when we were knocked down in Halo 5 you know how teammates do that in Halo 5. And lastly, when you win a match, a battle royale match, you will be rewarded with experience and the announcer would declare you winner just like they did in Apex Legends. That's all I have to say about Halo Infinite having battle royale mode. So if Halo Infinite does not want to become another field shooter, it must include the battle royale. Now here we are in the final part of the video. And I'm going to talk about Halo's art style. Now, after Halo 4, Halo's art style went from the classic, easy to imagine art style to really sci-fi and really difficult to imagine. Like, gone were the days with the slim and fit elite and then they were replaced by the more bulkier and that not 
not so holy looking armor if you know what I mean 3 for 3 just switched Bungie's theme in Halo like Bungie was all about adventure and fun 343 just switched that and went a bit more sci-fi and the art style just fit that I'm gonna give you an example like I can't tell apart two different ranks of Shangiri warriors only by their color but their armor looks so similar and even the grunts they are like kind of disappointing i just never wanted to see their face but here we are i see their face and instead of that classic gas mask i see a nose pipe really disgusting the kr look more reptilian than avian Really disappointing so here is what I feel yeah, Halo Infinite's art style should look like Halo Infinite's art style should it shouldn't reject the technological sci-fi theme and it should neither 100% go on to classic I think they should like combine it into one and as for the covenant part as for the forerunner faction which they introduced in Halo 4 they they are really difficult to even look at like you can't conceive which which rank is which rank because all their body design is so similar and in Halo 5 this becomes even more more difficult to conceive that identification errors do happen so in Halo Infinite I think every unit should have their own color combination and different design. Okay, I will show you a few picks which will make this a lot more easier. So that's all for today guys, these were my expectations from Halo Infinite. If you guys enjoyed my video then give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more upcoming videos even though they don't come out on time. And also don't forget to question me, uh, comment your questions in the comment section down below, your doubts or anything. I hope to make a Q&A video in the future and don't forget to Follow me on Instagram and Twitter by the name of Not So Chatty YT, and also join my Discord server. The link is down below, and it's named Apex Chat because I wanna play Apex Legends with some of my subscribers after lockdown. You know, in May. And also, before I end the video, don't forget to check out my boy, the Hill Enthusiast video on battle royale it was good you know and i hope you may like it as much as i did so that's all i had to say now i need to go i need to work on my next video so until then it's your boy not so chatty signing out goodbye